Hello everybody, welcome back to the video, and, uh, I got this. It's, uh, well, let's just say, I was planning on doing a most anticipated releases in the U.S. of Spring 2020. This most likely would have been number one. But I mean, saying U.S., you probably know what it is. Or maybe you don't. I've been waiting seven months for this to get its U.S. release. And now, it's here. You can see it. You can see it! Ooh. Anyway. Yep. It is the U.S. Fury from the Deep. So, <clears throat> this is the completely missing, completely animated second Doctor story. Now, as per my Doctor Who unboxings, I'm going to read the info on the back. So, here we go. Okay, here we go. The TARDIS brings the Doctor, Victoria, and Jamie to the coast of Kent, England, where the ESGO complex is drawing up natural gas under the North Sea via a huge network of pipes linked to their offshore rigs. But the Doctor is convinced that he can hear something in the pipes, a heartbeat, something alive. Other at the, others at the complex, complex might have heard it too. And one by one, contact with the rigs is being lost. But Chief Robson will have none of it, and work will continue. And so it does, until sentient, aggressive seaweed again, begins attacking the base and taking over the personnel one by one, creating a spearhead from which it will launch its attack and enslave the entire human race. Can the Doctor discover a way to stop the weed advancing? Which is the only real chance of success lie with Victoria. <clears throat> and if it does, can a way be found to utilize that without harming one of the Doctor's very best friends? Now, I looked over this a while ago, and there's one thing on here that really interests me. It does most of the BBC's original master recordings for Fury from the Deep Were Lost after the program's original transmission. However, audio-only recordings have survived and have been used here to create a brand new, fully animated reconstruction of this last clock, this lost classic. Most of. Could they have found some? Anyway, the, <clears throat> the features are uh, a... Color animation, a black and white animation, audio commentaries, production subtitles, surviving footage. I like to, I watched the surviving footage from the Macro Terror. It was, it was pretty good. So it's six film trims, behind the scenes footage, animating Fury from the Deep. I'll watch that. Uh, Fury from the Deep teaser trailer. Uh, just a telly snap reconstruction, episodes one to six. Info text, um, The Cruel Sea, which is the making of the original Fury from the Deep. Photo gallery, the slide audio drama, which was written by the same person. The visual effects, you know, an interview with Peter Day, an interview with Victor Pemberton, the guy that wrote the story, so I'm probably going to watch that. And PDF rom con, yeah, rom content. I don't know what that is, but it might be interesting. Here is the cover. Disc one is, oh, finally, look, this was one of my bigger issues. With the Macro Terror release, which was the black and white, should have been disc one. Disc two is color. And disc three is the reconstruction. Now, I've not watched Fury from the Deep. This is one of the 12 stories I've yet to watch. I watched some reconstructions once. I didn't think we we're going to get animated anytime soon. Uh, I knew this one was coming. Yeah, like I said, I've been waiting seven months for this thing. But, um, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, 
I will definitely be doing a review of this. I will see you guys later. Bye.